What the hell was that, you little freckle face cartoon? Did I give you permission to sneeze, Opie? No, sir. Then you hold it in, you big ear turd. Otherwise, I'll kick your ass back to Mayberry. <laughs> We have a sickly boy on our hands. Well, we're gonna have to boost your immune system, son. Drop down, give me one to five. Push up now. Tell him One, sir. <laughs> 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 You know you remind me of the dough boy. If I poke your stomach, we'll make you go. Now I'm to you know what? I'ma help you make room for lunch, bacon boy. Drop down, get me dirty, sit up right now. Let's go, caramel. Let me see that belly roll. One tub it, tub it. One sir. Come on, pork chop. Two tub it, tub it. Really, nigga? What up, fellas? What up, fellas? How's all my semen retention brothers doing on this very, very good weekend? It's your man in the building about to tell you something so mother effing real, bro, that it's going to have you about to jump up out your seat, bro. Let me tell you guys something, man. Let me tell you guys something, bro. Something big is about to happen while you're on semen retention. Something big, bro, is about to happen, bro, while you are on semen retention. You guys, let me tell y'all something, man. This life has been going absolutely crazy for me, bro. One thing after the other, meeting this person, meeting that person, getting these new jobs, getting that new job, going here, meeting this new person, going over here, meeting this new person. Bro, when I tell you that what you are doing with your energy on retention is much bigger than you could ever possibly imagine, you are literally a walking magnet, bro, for purpose, okay? You are attracting so many opportunities to your life. It is incredible. And here's the thing. You get this feeling in your gut, bro, like something is about to happen. You don't know what it is. You don't know what it is. But you're so carefree throughout your day. You're out here just living your life. You're out here just harmonizing. You're out here on your grizzle, bro. And you ain't hurting nobody. You ain't even hurting a fly. You done switched up your diet, bro. You on your vegan and vegetarian while you retaining your seed because you want every little edge that you could possibly get, bro. And let me tell y'all something, bro. Let me tell y'all something, bro. When things just work out in life, that's when you know you are on the correct path. When you are just walking your journey, minding your own business, bro, and all of these miraculous, wonderful things just keep coming to you, bro, and you're not asking for it. You just existing. You just being in your natural frame, bro. And the universe is orchestrating, bro, back in the background, sending people to you, pulling people out of your life, bro, lighting up your vision. And now, bro, now, bro, you are being set up for something major. Your manifestations, things that you subconsciously have been wanting, bro are now coming to you full steam ahead. You are in perfect alignment, man. You are doing what your creator, the most high, wants you to do. And he wants you to live happy. He wants you to live naturally. He wants you to live a life of moderation. 
He wants you to live a life, bro, of true purpose. So when you wake up in the morning and you get out of that bed, there's no such thing as as you're ever going to be bored. There's no such thing that you ever, never have something to do. You understand that every moment of your waking life is an opportunity for you to capitalize, bro, on that very glow that you have been building up over all these months. You out here, bro. You out here with the glow. Do you understand, man? You have magical powers, okay? And this magic comes in the form of manifestations. You got to have a clear mind. You got to have clear thoughts. This is why I tell you, you got to protect your energy. You got to shell people out, bro, while you're building your fortress, man. Okay. And then once it's built, you can invite whoever you want to the party. But see, the problem is, man, we haven't even got to that point in our lives yet. Okay. And you guys got to understand that it's going to take a lot of heads down. Okay, heads down, bro. Okay, focus in the zone, man. All right, before you understand, bro, how to build your fortress. But that's what we're here for. We're here to get you to understand, man. Okay, that you have something so big coming, bro, that you're never even going to be able to imagine. Okay. All of your good, positive, karmic energy, okay, that you have been creating. All of those seeds that you planted over the last season, bro, are now ready to harvest. You see, this is the way this thing works. That's why it's called a journey. So I don't understand you guys who be coming in here talking about, oh, look, man, I've been on seed retention too much, bro. And I ain't feeling nothing. But listen, man, listen, listen. It's a process. Everything in this world is a process. Okay. When you deposit your money into the bank, it's a process that now you have to go to the ATM and pull out the money. Okay. Everything is a process. Nothing's instantaneous. So when you guys are coming in this retention community thinking that you're just about to get all of this abundance, okay? Think about you just about to go to the top, bro, and all of these great things is just going to happen to you, bro. Sit your ass down somewhere and understand, man, that you got to go out there. You got to do, you got to, you got to fertilize that ground. You have to do it right, bro, okay? That's by going back to zero point, bro. You're fertilizing your ground, bro, all right? And now, what you done done is you done not planted those seeds and you planted those seeds with intentions, bro. Good intentions, bro. Okay. You did everything you could do possibly to that soil, bro, to get it just right enough for you to be able to reap the most from what you had. And this is what's going to transpire into your life. The longer you go and stay focused, fellas, you must understand it's all about protecting your energy. That's why I told you this isn't a lone journey. It's no offense to nobody else. You're not going to be able to stay in this mind frame. You're not going to be able to have this focus, G. Okay? You're not going to be able to have this focus, G. If you got a, somebody pulling on your energy, if you having arguments every other night, bro, if you releasing your seed every other night, bro, if you out here wasting your time hanging out, okay, instead of not putting that time into your life, which I told you, bro, we don't even have enough time here on this planet to accomplish all the things that we possibly could want, but yet we sitting here wasting time, okay? We wasting our lives, and this is what I am trying to wake y'all up to. I'm over here, fellas. I'm on 918 days of pure retention. Y'all don't hear me, though. Y'all don't hear me though. And I understand because you're not in my mind. You're not in my mind frame. You're not in my frequency. You don't understand my energy. I know some of you do. 
But for the majority of you, you don't understand. You can't see the vision. You can't feel the energy. Okay. But I want y'all to continue to get there. Continue to strive because I promise you when you get here, you are now going to be that person, bro. You are now going to be your questions that you had in your head. You are going to be able to answer everything. You are going to be able to put your life together so well, bro. Okay. It's going to be a dramatic turnaround in just one year. That's all it takes, fellas. That's all it takes, fellas. I'm not asking nobody to sit up here and go forever retaining a seed. All I'm asking y'all fellas to do is to retain your seed long enough so you can gain all of this wisdom and knowledge, bro, that's going to help you in your life now. It's going to make you more solid. You're going to make more wise decisions, bro. All right. You're going to put your energy in the right places that it needs to be, bro. You're going to be a solid individual. And this is what I want y'all to do because it's going to protect you in a lot of situations. OK, there's a lot of crazy things going on right now. And you got to use that smart head. OK, not that little one. You got to use your smart head. And if you was any kind of a smart dude, OK, even if you got it like that, even if you got it like that, if you were some kind of smart dude, you be really careful about what you doing with your seed. And this is why I want y'all to take what I'm telling you seriously, especially in 2024, especially in 2024. OK, once that seed leaves, your body is no longer yours. OK, your seed is worth more than gold. You worth more than gold. Your seed has a value, bro, okay, that you are don't even that you're not even aware of. Okay. So make smart decisions with your seed, bro. Okay. Understand that ain't just a feeling, bro. Okay. That's a part of you that is leaving your body every single time, bro, that you get out here acting a fool. But see, the consequence from being out here acting a fool is. You die in return. So that's not a very smart investment. Okay. It's 2024. All right. There is no excuse where you should be spiritually broke, where you can't manifest. Okay. Where you out here still living that low vibrational life, bro, and ain't getting nowhere. Okay. You still stuck in the same rut. You still doing the same shit that you did last year. You still stuck, bro. Okay. And this is your way out. This is your way out. Retain your seed, gentlemen. Okay? Protect your seed, gentlemen. We're talking about your DNA. See, here's where it goes over our head. Listen to me carefully. This goes over our head, bro. That's your DNA, fool. Do you know what DNA is? Does somebody need to sit down to you and explain to you what DNA is, bro? You, How are you going to put a price on your DNA? That is your DNA. And you need to treat it as such, okay? And be respectable of your bloodline, all right? And learn how to be a real man. And a real man understands that every single time that he wants to release his energy through the tip of the head of that small little thing down there that he knows he's making a bad decision that is going to cost him years off of his life. And this is the mindset that we must instill in young men today. Because let me tell you, it is way more rampant than it has been 20 years ago. It is way more rampant today, man. We got young, way more young people out here indulging in this shit. We got way more young people out here, bro, having sex at a young age. We got way more people out here, bro, having children at a young age. We got way more people out here, bro, that's not educated, bro, on the power of their sexual energy and how to use it. And this is a direct fault on the people at power. Because they are allowing our world, okay, our society, bro, to breed, 
okay, and raise degenerates, all right? And these degenerates are procreating like some damn flies, all right? And what you have around here is you have a whole bunch of madness going on, a bunch of uneducated, ignorant people out here not understanding what to do with their vital life force energy. Okay. And this is what we are here for. This is why I take this so seriously, bro. Okay. Because it is real. All right. It is real. You guys have to understand. You have to understand. This ain't a game no more. Okay. This is not a game no more. All right. We have the ability to completely change our lives around, bro. And in less than one year, you can get up off of your mama's couch. You can get up off of your friend's couch. You can get out of sleeping in your damn car. You could put together and create a master plan, bro. So perfectly well executed, all right, that you are now be able to walk through this world, bro, and be able to create on moment. And that's where we're trying to get you to understand on how powerful our life force energy is as a man. Okay. I've done it. I've used it. I've witnessed it. And I hear others saying the exact same thing. You guys, it is a reason why we are doing what we're doing. It is a reason why we are here in the retention community, bro. Okay. It is a reason why. And the reason is, bro, because we now, all right, have been led, have been shown the way by the Most High. The Most High has given us the secret. The Most High has given us the remedy. The Most High has given us the light. The Most High has given us the torch, gentlemen, all right? And there's no going back, all right? Once you step in this arena, bro, there is no going back, Okay, what's going to happen is you're going to be battling. Okay, for from here to this point on out, the minute that you make that oath with yourself to say that you're not going back to live that nasty, filthy, disgusting life. Okay, once you make that oath, all right, and you come back here, all right, with this seriousness about yourself, man. Okay, you are now forever in a battle to the end of time, bro. Good versus evil, okay? Till you leave this vessel, all right? But now what you have understand is you now understand that you're now on the good side, all right? You're seeing everything from a different perspective. You're seeing how there's really a negative entity, demons, okay, coming into people's vessels, controlling them, bro. And you were under that control at one point because you look back at the things that you used to do and you were appalled, you can't even believe that you used to reach in your damn pants, bro, with a damn tube sock, all right, and sit back in your chair, bro, all right, and, and yank on your damn meat until you pull a damn hamstring. That was you at one point. And now you look back and you look how foolish you looked, okay? You look how ridiculous you looked, you, you know that the Most High was watching you every single time you was on them damn ashy-ass kneecaps, all right, linked all the way back, bro, all right, trying to get one off, all right? You understand that now, and now, bro, <laughs> you ain't going to ever go back to that, bro. <laughs> you, you a real man now, bro. You understand that you was just a, a, a little young, insecure, okay, uneducated, okay, little tadpole, okay? But now you don't graduate because you don't learn about retention, bro. You don't learn how to become a real man, bro, okay? And now what you're doing is you're raising their awareness to other men out here, bro, okay? You're uplifting others, bro. You're showing people, bro, how to get it by leading by example, Okay, and that's the type of men that we raise over here in the lion den, bro. That's how I get down because I'm a real leader. I already professed to the universe who and what it is that I truly want to be. And I told you I want to be the best that I can be, the best leader ever. I told y'all, bro. All right, and I'm going to manifest it. And that's what I want to be. Okay, and I'm here to inspire you. 
All right. Because I need other leaders in this world. All right. We need other kings out here, bro. All right. Prospering, creating strong seeds. All right. Creating a strong future, bro. Creating dynasties, bro. All right. Bringing America really back like it truly supposed to be. All right. Healthy, mature. All right. Healthy, mature seeds out here instead of all of this degeneracy. All right. Brought to you by the people who control what it is that you eat. So, guys, that is all I really wanted to tell y'all. This ain't going to be a long one, man. Okay. I just feel that you guys really need to understand what you have coming for you. And what you have coming for you, bro, is the biggest birthday gift. Okay. The biggest Christmas gift, bro. You let, let me tell you something. I know a lot of you already feel this way. I know a lot of you go to bed at night and you just can't even go to sleep. Your energy is so damn high. You feel so damn good. You wondering about what's going to happen tomorrow. Who you going to meet? What girl going to come into your life? All right. What you going to find, bro? Somebody going to give you something, bro. Something is going to happen in your life because on retention, so many different things like this happen, bro. That it just makes your day so welcoming. You wake up in the morning and you just can't wait to go outside to see what's going to happen. And this is why I'm telling you something big is about to happen for all you retainers. All right. The most high is about to come back and bless you tenfold. He's about to give you everything you wanted for your discipline. He's about to give you. The life that you always dreamed of. And all you have to do, fellas, is keep remaining disciplined. Discipline is the name of the game. We're creating soldiers and warriors over here. We're the soldiers and the warriors of the most high guy. Okay. We defend, all right, our creator with our lives. And we don't have no weak little itches over here. We don't have no little weak itches over here, bro, who like to yank on their meat and release the fluid that's going to give them chi. Okay. Those are the guys that we don't want. We're going to let them fight with the other dudes because I tell you what, when we come through, bro, Okay, marching to the beat like we gonna come through all us retainers, bro. The energy is gonna make them cower all by themselves. It ain't even gonna need to get physical. They gonna see what it is when they see our demeanor. Okay, and this is what the Most High wants us to do, and this is why I'm preaching it to you. So, fellas, keep retaining your seed, keep making your Creator happy. All right, keep progressing. Don't ever let nobody slow you down. Okay. Don't ever let somebody slow you down, bro. Okay. Because they're going to try. They're going to try to come into your inner. They're going to try to drag you down, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, once they see that gold coming off of your aura, when they see you walking around this mug looking like Bruce Leroy, your eyes are so bright. The skin is so clear. You got, you got young women chasing after you. That's half your age. When you start to acquire and come into this energy, they are going to come for you, okay? They're going to want to know. They're going to want to be curious on how it is that someone like you is able to do what you do, okay? And just make sure to tell them it's all about retaining your sexual life force energy. And it goes both ways. Men and women can do the same thing. So a woman can have her glow just as well as a man can have her glow. Okay. It's all about keeping the essence inside of you, bro, that creates life. And the most high creator put, put it out in red writing pretty clear. Once you decide to start releasing this energy, okay, to anything other than creating a child, you automatically lose life every single time you do it, okay? Just because you cannot calculate on exactly what percentage that you are losing every single time that you do it does not mean that it's not happening, OK, and this is why we got to start taking more responsibility, fellas. All right. On what we do with our man parts. All right. Because we're smarter than that. OK, we have logic. 
Okay. We're smart men over here. Okay. We have a big ass dome and a big ass brain for a reason. All right. Because we make the smartest decisions. All right. And, and we know that this over time, all right, is going to hurt our stock is going to hurt our investment. All right. So just be smart out there, you guys. True from Broadcasting Station. What's happening with your brother? Jim, what's happening with your brother? How you doing tonight? Insight, how are you doing, my guy? My guy, Insight in the building. How you doing tonight, brother? Jim says, I was just listening to a guy a bit ago who practices no fap and SR, and he is... He is on seven years now, and he is one of us too. Dang, seven years. That's great, bro. That's amazing, bro. I, I honestly want to know if he's actually on pure semen retention or is he just on no fat? I mean, regardless, seven years on no fat is, is good too, but there's a big, huge, distinct difference between someone that's seven years on pure semen retention, which, you know, that's kind of one of those things like I have to know the person, man, to be able to to believe somebody on a number like that. Like I would have to, you know, see them on the daily and interact with them on the daily to see how they are, you know, see how they present themselves. Because, man, seven years, bro, that's a long time. But like I said, if it's just if it's no fap, regardless, congratulations to him, Jim. Yo, bro, how many years of SR to achieve a wife? I'm on year two and I'm still waiting. Bro, that's not that's not on no fap. That's not something that you bro, you it's something that you're doing. All right. You must not be you must not be uh using your retention to its fullest advantage. Okay. You gotta put yourself out there, bro. Okay. You might have to travel, bro. Okay. You might have to go. And put yourself in, in a situation that you, you you may be not comfortable with. Okay, the thing about retention is this, bro. You have to put yourself around energy. Okay, you have to. Okay, or you're going to be one of these people that just want to sit back and let it come to you, and it, it'll work like that too. But if you're one of these people who are impatient, and it sounds like you're impatient because you're asking when it's going to come. And that's why it's never going to come when you want it to come because you're asking for it. You're not supposed to be asking for it. You're supposed to be waiting for it. Okay. Remember, you're, manif you're manifesting this thing. Okay. It's, it's going to come to you naturally when you're ready. Okay. When you're not looking for it. All right. That's why you're supposed to go on this journey with your head down, bro. You're supposed to be focused on your goals. Okay. You're not supposed to be talking about that particular unless that's what you want. If that's what you just want to uh, manifest, then by all means, go ahead. Okay. You could manifest so many other things in this world. And it seems like that's all of us men think about. Okay. We're thinking with such a small point of our brains. All right. <laughs> we can manifest the world. All right. And yet we're still, we're still thinking about when someone is going to come to us, so go on your purpose, stay on your journey. Okay. Be the best man that you can be. Okay. Hit your end goal in life where you've now created, you know, your kingdom around you. Okay. And then watch what happens. Okay. Until then, if, 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 if we're still on this journey and maybe we have been doing it a year or two, that's fine. Okay. But you still got to build. It's about building. Okay. Some of us will manifest things quicker than others. Okay. But if you're not one of those people who think you don't got what you want right now, all you have to do is stop worrying about what it is that you want. And I promise to you, it'll come to you 10 times faster if you do it that way. Okay. But you're not supposed to be focused on stuff like that anyway. So look at what you're doing, reevaluate what you got going on in your life. Okay. And you know, see where it is that you're directing your energy. Be careful. Cause like I said, because you are probably now manifesting that since you said that's what you wanted. Okay. And what's going to end up happening, you're going to bring someone into your life that it, it might be cool for a little bit and then it might not end up working out. Okay. Cause that's what happens when you are expecting things instead of just going on your journey with your head down. Facts. That's how it works, Jim. 
Truth and Broadcasting Station says, when you plant trees and nature plants, you begin to comprehend the process and growth of life. And that's what I'm saying. And that's what I mean about what you've done. Okay. What you've, what you've done beforehand to ensure that this time next year, okay, this time next year, bro. All right. You're going to be reaping every single thing from that harvest. Okay. This is how you do it. Okay. People want so many things. We're in a, we're in a world today, bro, where, where everything is right at our fingertips. Okay. You got, you got fast food, you got cell phones, you know, you got all these things that are not natural. Okay. That make processes much quicker. And people think they're going to get on retention, bro. And they think they're going to come on here, bro. And they really think that they're just going to get all of these top benefits and all these good things right away. Okay. And then they end up quitting because they end up seeing that it doesn't work like that. Okay. Tell me anything. Tell me, show me anywhere where you can go get some watermelon seeds, go plant them, bro. All right. And then a week, two weeks later, hell, even three, four months later. Okay. <laughs> you're sitting here waiting, you know, to reap your harvest. All right. That's the way it works. Okay. It takes time. Everything is a process. Okay. You guys got to be patient with your retention journey. Okay. And like I said, your goal should be for a man, bro, is to be manifesting something that's going to help you build your kingdom. Okay. The, the queen will eventually come. Okay. The, the woman will eventually come. Okay. But you want to be focused on building bro. Okay. And when you get there, then you'll be ready for something like that. Okay. Because of what we're doing in 2024, because of the way modern dating is because of the way that the, you know, marriage is here in the United States, you know, a lot of people are just not jumping at that opportunity. Okay. So the women are not going anywhere, bro. Okay. Focus on your Yourself, okay, focus on getting to where it is that you want to be in life, bro. And understand, bro, once you've got once the most high feels where you've got to where you've got, okay, and you can maintain, okay, he will then give you what you can handle. Okay, that's the way it works. All right. Truth and Broadcasting Station says, this is a refreshing message, D. I got some women really wanting a piece of me right now, right? I know I know how it is, bro. I know how it is. And I, I'm, I'm in the same situation, okay? I'm in the same situation. But I know this. I know at the end of the day that just because I'm getting this attraction, just because, you know, I could find something to get turned on by, all right? is not what I want to be bringing into my life. I don't want to just be messing with someone and to be releasing my energy. I told you something big is about to happen for us retainers. Okay. Something big. Each and every one of us have a special gift of abundance coming to us. Okay. Anybody that goes for women, the same if women are, are, are retaining their sexual life force energy as well. Okay. Okay. Any person that is practicing this, okay, that is truly keeping their frequency, bro, that high, okay, and walking the, the most narrowest path in life, bro, the most high in the universe are looking all the way out for you. And this is why your life changes so rapidly. You ever wonder why as a retainer, like, you know, you don't have very many people in your circle and it's a reason for that. The most high has done that, most high orchestrated that. Okay. It's a, re it's a reason for you to go in, go with, go within. Okay. And start to focus on yourself, bro. All right. And start to heal because we all need to heal first and foremost. Okay. Start to heal, bro. And then start to build. Okay. And once you've um, accomplished this journey in life, once you've acquired this knowledge and wisdom, okay. Now relationships, now friendships seem um, effortless. Okay. You're just able to deal with people at, at such a, uh, um, a better type of, of pace. Okay. You understand people now. Okay. You've learned a lot. Okay. When I tell you that solitude teaches you so much, you learn about everything because you start listening to your own voices, the good voices that are in your head. Okay. You're not distracted by other people's energy. I told you protect your energy. Okay. It's imperative. Okay. You must 
be able to hear your own self think. Okay. And if you don't have time or space to do that, then you are truly not, you know, benefiting. All right. From the energy that you are conserving. Okay. You're still giving your energy out to the environment and to people around you. And I told you guys, it's all about protecting your energy. <clears throat> oh, hell yeah. E. Blandy says, day 83. That's what's up, brother. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. I bet you feel great. <laughs> that's like that's like the sweet spot, if you ask me, because most of the people that are on day 83 have never experienced day 83. <laughs> all right. They're, 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 their nuts are full right now. All right. They're feeling all kind of good energy. All right. That good vibe, that good spirit, bro, that positive energy that you get during that time, bro, that's the type of energy that can carry you for a long way, bro. So just stay focused on what it is that you're doing, man. Okay. Don't let nobody distract you. Congratulations, bro. That's facts, Bonafide Goods. You can achieve anything as long as you believe. Absolutely, brother. Belief. It's all about belief. Okay. It's all about belief. But I believe that belief comes from, uh, you know, comes from a realm of confidence. Okay. And where do you get confidence from? Retaining that seed. Okay. There's no way you could have belief in yourself when you don't have any energy to support your beliefs. Okay. This is why I said, see retention is the base of everything. We can't run from this. Man, a man could try to run from this as much as he wants. He could try to hide from this as much as he wants. He is never going to run away from seed retention. The most high put it here for a reason, bro. Okay. You as a man are going to have to learn how to tame your energy. And if you don't, it's going to be a short, quick life for you. Okay. What, what, plenty of ups and downs because the matrix has truly made it, you know, punishable. Okay. For a man to be out here releasing his seed. All right. So that should give you something to think about. Facts, bro. Matt says, seam retention raises your vibrations. Oh, exponentially, bro. It does exponentially. Rich, what's happening with you, bro? Uh, this is just going to be a quick one, Rich. I was just in here just rapping real quick, man. I hope you uh, was able to catch the beginning of the video, bro. If not, go ahead and check the, the video again, bro. But yeah, man, this, this is just about, you know, like I said, guys, <laughs> you got something big for your company. You got something big for yourself coming, man. Okay. All you have to do is still maintain the focus level that you've been having. Okay. Don't give up, bro. Don't let somebody bring you down, bro. Okay. Conserve your energy. I know a lot of you are in situations where you have families, you might have roommates, you may have this, you might have that. Well, I'm telling you, your energy, okay, is everything. And be very mindful, okay, about how much energy you're putting out through the day. We have to work already. We have jobs. A lot of us have a different obligations, okay? And a lot of us are not able to focus and channel that energy like we like, all right? But if this is you, make sure you find some type of space. Make sure you find some type of time, bro, so you can go in and focus and hear yourself think, okay? This is where you're going to start to get a lot of stuff done. You're going to start to get a lot of questions answered, okay? But you also got to clean up your tempo, okay? There's a lot of things that you must do, and we've explained all of them in the previous videos. So I appreciate you guys for being in here. I'm about to dip up out of here. I love you guys. You guys be safe out there, man. Okay, and continue to go on your journey. Understand, bro, that the longer you go, okay, the longer you go, the more you're going to be rewarded. And this is a fact, okay? We already know this firsthand, bro, just off of how you feel spiritually and internally. Okay, you're at peace. All right. The next level then is just going to be abundance. But at that point, you're already at peace. So what is abundance when you already have peace? That's a question you should ask yourself. But you guys have a good rest of the day. I love you guys, man. And I'll talk to you on the next one.
Peace, fellas. I will not stage, stay on, even if I must sacrifice my life.